many of the incredible folk that we meet on this programme, really working outdoors is the only way to do their job. Observing the fluctuations in the life cycles of the natural world and witnessing the changing seasons is part of day-to-day -day life. That holds true for local artist James McCallum, who is dedicated to depicting the rhythms of Norfolk's local wildlife, from stone chats to pink-footed geese, and today, the grey seals of Blakeney. Look at this one here, sunbathing, <laughs> basking. Yeah. Completely content there. Yeah. What do you reckon, week old? Yeah, maybe a week, just over. You can still see the umbilical cord there as well. Let's, let's leave him to it. Lovely. Oh, my word. Well, this is... It's an artist's paradise today, James, this, isn't it? Absolutely. And I guess growing up here in this part of the world, you're sort of surrounded by wildlife. So when did you start getting that connection with it? Probably in my early teens, really. Yeah. Um, because I've always been part of your life growing up here, but suddenly become aware of how rich it was probably you know when i was about 13 and became really interested in birds first and then oh yeah you know the wilder natural history really i've been to some wonderful places in the world but yeah. i always see this kind of coastline as home really yeah a nice high spot here i think would be perfect. Oh, here what's in the magic kit then pack lunch what Thermos. sandwiches have you got today Peanut butter. Peanut butter. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, you've got your uh, you've got your telescope. Helps you keep your distance. Let things behave more freely. Really. A selection of pencils and sketchbook. Yeah. Oh, can I have a little thumb through your sketchbook? Oh, James, they're lovely. Got a lot of character in these, but they're they're sort of soft and calm and gentle. You're not sort of sketching and going over and over and over. These Cross are very much kind of just one yeah. sweeping line. You can say a lot in just a single line, really. How old is the one that you're looking at at the moment? I'd say this one is... It's only probably about eight or nine days, I would think. And right. The first kind of pups appear here at the end of October. Mm. And then we're, we're kind of peaking at the moment. And then by the time you come to January, it's... It's really tailing off, and by the end of that month, it's, there's virtually no seals here, so it's mm. just like a really short window. Is this full time for you? Yeah, I'm yeah, really fortunate. I think since, I don't know, 98, so a few years now, I've been doing a lot of work on geese at the moment, so Brent geese and pink footed geese. Oh, wow. That's like completely different to here, really. You know, you may have like sort of 20,000 birds coming in, mm. you know, at dawn, and then you want to try and get, get them as they land and get all the different wing angles. Mm. This year, I was lucky to go up to Iceland, so working on pink footed geese, seeing yeah. them on nests and with goslins. And, oh, really? Yeah, amazing. Things like gyre falcons capturing goslins and the you know, Arctic foxes raiding nests and that kind of thing. You know, you're capturing so many life cycles here and you're watching so many sort of different species rear their young. When you became a parent, did that change your perspective? When we had our little girl, I was working on seals here. I'd see all this kind of maternal stuff going on with, you know, cows and pups and and <laughs> go home in the evening and then there'd be like this little baby and a mum, <laughs> you know, feeding. And, and you were like, stuff. let me get my sketchbook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> Comparisons are incredible, aren't they? Yeah, and it's, it's the particularly when you're world. dealing with mammals. Yeah, some you know wonderful moments. Absolutely, kind of quite humbling as well sometimes. I mean, look at that scene there. She's yeah. literally just patting the side of her pot. So you're at the watercolor stage now, then, James. Yeah, maybe we'll just put in a little bit of tone. Put it in tone. It'll give you the shadows and should give you some shape. Mm. and then let that dry and then just lay on the colour wash on top. Have you got a spare brush? Absolutely, yeah. We'll paint the, the pup in front of us here. All I'm going to do is just get a bit of blue mm -hmm. and a bit of red and just mix up a fairly kind of neutrally mm. shadow. I don't do a lot of watercolours, you know. I do, um, I like acrylic oil that you can kind of keep reworking. I mean, the key to it is just speed and don't worry about being too fussy, but... Yeah. And if we just laid that wash in really quite loosely mm. and that shadow is also forming, 
It's brilliant, yeah. I mean, it does make a difference to be doing this outside because you just look, you, you see, you capture that moment, don't you? As the sun strikes down, bang, there's a shadow under there. Yeah, and tr trying to capture light, I mean, light is in a constant, constantly changing, isn't it? Mm. If we do this, uh, this newborn pup here, so... That's quite a bit of yellow ochre on there, then. Yeah, a fair bit. You can see, actually, some of these pups are really quite kind of buttery, aren't they? Yeah. See, we're probably around the head is a, a slightly more yellow. So just drop that in. Don't worry about if there's any little Overlap. patches of white or anything. Just let that show. It won't matter. Particularly like where the light catches it at the top. Let it dry. That's really nice. Good teaching, you see. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. <laughs> That's what it is, James. That's it, really. And just uh, drop in a few details. That's it, yeah. It just brings it to life then. When yeah. You just put those extra details in. That's really good, actually. You really captured that. Quite nice light and, yeah, yeah, got the shadow in and, yeah, it's really impressive. Well, that's been brilliant, James. Thank you so much for your time. I've thoroughly enjoyed sitting here and chatting with you, I really have. No, you're good company. So it's been great. Yeah, it's been Thank nice. Thank you.